I've had these for a few days now, but I wanted to wait till the day um, to do this video. Uh, it's 8 eight twenty four, August 24th, 2024. These are the Kobe 4 Pro Tro. This is the gold metal colorway. This is basically a re-release um, to commemorate the 2008 um, gold medal Olympic team, men's basketball team that won the gold medal. Um, this was originally released, excuse me, I can't talk right now, um, in 2009 to commemorate that team. But we're going to get into the shoe. This is, as you can see, the first generation Flywire um, on the upper going down to the Phylon midsole. You can see the etch lines in the midsole. Um, going around the shoe, you can see the scales, the snake scales, and the like gold flake scales. Um, going around the toe box material, um, going into the inside, your medial pattern. Um, you don't see, let's get in real quick, no glue residue. They did a really good job, it seems like, with these. Um, let's fling around here to the heel counter. Uh, excuse me. You can see the number 10 um, embossed into the um, pad, the leather that's over the heel counter. Um, it's getting a little closer. That 10 is really nice and pressed in. Uh, no glue spots. I gotta get all the way in there. <laughs> and this is a nice gold shiny leather. They got the color and the texture and everything really really good i mean i know it's all synthetic basically but um this is really great and you can see more of the um snake pattern going around back to the front now let's flip this bad boy over there's your herringbone multi-directional traction pattern you got like a semi i guess a semi um, translucent um, the white part is kind of milky uh, the other parts the red this obsidian um, is more of a solid you can see the gold Nike symbol on the bottom carbon fiber shank plate you can see that glass right there the, but these came out ah really good really 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 good and if you want to know where to get these from f forgive my ignorance um there's information right there um these folks are the absolute best i don't know why you play around with anybody else i know there's other stuff out there not bashing them but this is the best if you start with the best there's no other way you can go but um these were at the time on pre-order and just in the future like if you see pre-orders um when you go visit these folks um they have i'm trying to open this up for you they offer you a pair of socks either white or black um these are like performance basketball socks um, i've tried them on they're really really good um they either give you white or or black with the pre-order um it's like first hundred pairs or to be honest with you i think it's when you go on the site and you see a timer if you order them before that timer runs out then you should be able to get a pair um of um socks to go with your uh sneakers but yeah enough about that put that to the side but yeah these are these look really amazing let me grab the other shoe too because i know this is the shoe with the kobe bryant signature on it on the right oh it looks like i got a little something on there smudgy that's no big deal that was me um i'll clean that off uh, eh whatever you're supposed to wear them gotta keep it 100 but these are really 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 nice i mean it's well worth the wait and people you know i try and play i, I, I play it above board i enter the raffles i go on sneakers i do all that stuff and to be quite honest with you it's kind of fruitless but you know unless you have a 
$40,000 computer that could summon a bot army like um, Dr. Doom. Um, <laughs> but either way, um, you don't have to ever take an L again on these. And that's the, that's, that's the beauty of it. You know what I mean? Like, um, people talk a whole bunch of, um, well, I can't say that comments on here because I'll, uh, draw the wrong attention, but, um, there's a philosophy. If you search around, I'll put it somewhere and it's going to make you think about, um, you know, the whole rat race as far as these hype sneakers, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's just a side discussion. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Did you get a pair? Did Were you fortunate enough to actually hit on sneakers? Or um, it don't matter how you got them. Just let me know. You know what I mean? Engage my comment section. Um, oh, yeah. And another thing I almost forgot before I get out of here. Um, I'm on it. <clears throat> just to let you know. If you know, you know, I am on it. I'll make another video. Um, already going with these swap these, so I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, the another thing I know I didn't show because I normally start my videos with the um, insoles already out, but I didn't want to do that this time. Um, I do have pictures that um, I'll put up that I already did, but there's your let me see if I can get in there real quick. Uh, it's so doggone blurry. There we go. There's your 82408 on the insole. Um, if you know the story about the insoles, you want to switch them out, do it immediately. You know what I mean? Be a little trouble if you don't. Um, typically me, like, I take them out anyway. I, even if I put them back in, it's because, like, this glue is going to stick, but... If you take them out periodically, just as a habit, you can keep that sole as long as you want. And, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, and it won't tear up your strobe. But that's just a tip. Um, every once in a while, it might be a little pain. Um, I feel as if if, you, if you're in the lace swap and there's nothing really to go in your um, insole and just pull it out and stretch it, give it some air for a minute, then put it back in. Um, either way. But like I said, if you want to get a pair of these that's your hookup best in the game i really appreciate y'all stay positive out there and i will get back with you soon